Because it has a muffler on it. Okay, right? okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, honestly, one? what it sounds really cool is because of the header. You don't see many of those on the 6 and one properly done. Yeah. You know, that sounds... Yeah, that's sound. Oh, completely. Completely. That's what it changes. You put like a regular log in the turbo, it sounds completely different. Well, you know it does. We had a log on there. Yeah. yeah, it sounds completely different. Like, he's like a surprise. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you really think he's that? Thing? He's like, yeah. <laughs> we did because we're supposed of that. to be friends, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really cool stuff. Really cool stuff. It's really specific engines that have a lot of load difference, like AC, hydraulic, and if you hit everything at the same time, yeah. you need to drive it or you need to have an actuator, okay. like a bolt, you know, that kind of stuff, because usually the prop is really heavy to put in here, yeah. or the idle has to be really low, you know, but like usually that kind of engine is yeah. that kind of use you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What, what should we be gapping our plugs to? Because you guys want to run a lot of power, the closer the gap, the more uh, easy it is to confirm that ignition will happen, right? So 12 to 14 thousand is pretty good. When you go up on plug gap, the only benefit is actually when you run lean, right? Lean, so like cruising. It's easier to burn when it's really lean, okay. right? But if you never run the car lean, like this kind of stuff, you run M1 and stuff like that, it's pointless to have a big gap. There's no power advantage okay. whatsoever. Right. So guaranteed that the spark fires, that's what you need. Three pounds of boost. Three. Three pounds of boost. Wow. It sounded different than I thought it would sound. It yeah. sounds like a 2JZ. Kind of, yeah. Well, like it's it's a real 2JZ. It has more size. More base. Yeah. It's like a 300 cubic inches 2JZ. It has more cojones. Yeah. I like it. How high are we revving the thing? 74. Yeah, if you see there, it's far from getting done. You know? It had the big spike on the ship with the motor slap. We can shift high. How high are you guys comfortable with red? Uh, 70, well, 7,500 probably. Well, yeah, he, said, he said it doesn't make power being above. Eight. Well, it didn't. Well, it's but I mean, if the configuration yeah, is completely F different. Now? The motor is flying collars. Not even it's close. what? Flying collars. It's easy. Okay. Right? And what was the number? 74, is said? So 74 is fine. Okay. I'll guess she has no less than 400, 500 out there. And when we get there, we're getting to know if we okay. keep going. Yeah. yeah. If you okay, we can go up like what, 200, 300? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, it just typically in the past, we just didn't spin it because it, it would give you up at 60, 64, 6500. It was done. What? Head and this block, it's got a long way to travel. And yeah. the, the whole drain backs are very small. So it takes it forever to get back yeah, it, 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 Yeah, once it pumps up, it, it's like, uh, it, it takes a long time for it to return Like back. if you pull the valve cover, there's a ton of oil left. I'm presuming so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, the, the uh, blow-by is coming up the side of the block as the oil is trying to get down, so it's suspension. Ah, I get what you're saying. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Just yeah, I left that out, there. sorry. Yeah, yep, yeah. That that's sense. what's happening, yep. yeah. So maybe it relieves a lot of huh. exhaust energy, and it's a bit pretty decent-sized wastegate. 
bottom. Is it 50 or 60 50s. something? 250s. Yeah. Oh, it has two way skates. Yeah. There's two, okay. one on the bottom, one on the top. There's okay. one on the bottom, one on the top. Yeah. 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 And they're First, both on the housing? No, okay. no. One's on the corner bin on the crossover pipe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because <clears throat> we tried one and it wasn't enough. It wouldn't, it was kept creeping. <clears throat> yeah, so far at that power level, it's crazy tight on Buddha Wise. Right. For this power level, at least. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Like there's way to be way quicker at the track if it was losing. On Buddha Wise. Okay. Is that why it looks like the line yeah, takes like, off? It just he actually takes off and, and it goes backwards. Oh. Okay. Right? Because the converter wins. As soon as it gains some RPM, the converter is gaining efficiency more than the motor gains power and actually okay. brings the motor back. Okay. Right? And only goes up as a drive shaft goes up yeah. to release the load. It's that tight. Yeah. Well, right. I think you'll find well, once we get around 40 pounds, it's going to start yeah. Yeah. making it alive. Yeah. yeah. What do you think? It looks better from here. Yeah. You guys see it here? Yeah. So, engine wise, right? About 46, right? It's making higher boost than the tree step, so it doesn't even hit the tree step. It makes three pounds before the two, three step RPM, so it stays on two step, right? And then you made 3.7 only, with five on the gate. Okay, we, so we're gonna work on this. So it, do, it doesn't apply the number that we want. Okay, so we're gonna fix that. So we're gonna make apply the number that we want and it's gonna make more boost. Um, and but, how, how does this uh, relate to actually real time drive? On the track, is this going to be pretty close? Yeah, or oh, this power level, yes. If you try no, to no, no, like I mean, this, ultimately like this. at yes. the end of the yes. day, really close, really close. Yeah. So I think dyno speed is not that bad because we're doing a run that's four, five, four, seven, right? Uh, but it's not a full run, right? Okay. So if you, if we go to a full run, that would be five, five or something like that. Okay. What was the best ET on eight so far? Uh, 508. So we yeah. did a five flat. Okay. Yeah. 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 So yeah. like if we did the five flat, we were fairly close. So behavior would be fairly close. <clears throat> but we never could get it to RPM really. Uh, so it would just stay. You'd only gain about 300 RPM uh, from three from the 330 to the 660. It, huh? It, it wasn't RPM. I don't know. Maybe something else was off. Well. So that's the whole premise of yeah. the whole the camshaft cam thing. Yeah, yeah. right. Right now, it's looking really good. The motor's not nosing over anywhere. You know, it shifted 76. Right. Uh, it's not nosing over 76. It doesn't look like it's making shit ton of power like going uphill. It's not yeah. like wanting to go 9,000. Yeah. But it's plenty fine there. Right. And there's not enough boost still to keep going up. If we creep, boost gonna creep our camp. Right. So we can run higher yeah. for sure. So. Uh, fueling is close to our targets, at least, right? Um, let's do this. You said that these plugs are the same ones when you guys heard the motor the last time. Yeah, is that right? Four years ago. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's do this. Let's put a fresh set, right? We fix the boost and then we do another run with more boost and then we can have a clean first reading. Let okay. say. Because now that this is not far off, we can actually see something. Okay. Yeah, we just okay. want to check if like the, our target is actually the number we need. Yeah. Okay. What is that target? Right now it's like four or five. Okay. Okay, about four or five. Based on EGTs and smell is rich. EGTs okay. are low and is smelling a bunch. So okay. my guess, based on whatever you have here, piping sensor, for that boost it has to be linear to make optimal power. It may want that target when it has way more boost. Right? Okay. So let's let's do a bunch of fixes. So new satisfier plugs. We fix the boost, let's do a test until this is good, before we do the next lap. And then, I would say it's not even repeating the target. It even even went to the target. It didn't make the 10 pounds we wanted, right? But let's put like 15 on the gate or something, also. Because everything is so close, right? So this run, he made about six pounds. So that power on six pounds, six, 660. It just takes years, it seems like. I mean, between our jobs and 
Um, it's my wife I got to convince to keep doing it. <laughs> yeah, she's like, golly, you know how much money you spent on that? Yeah. It's investment. It's a personal investment. Yeah, investment. It's yeah. a personal investment. You know, yeah. It makes you happy. So EGTs 1 and 2, they were showing to be hotter. And yes. they actually... Yeah, look, look so at this. They're up. Yeah. They up by the band, 1 and 6. Yes. Ah, right? Look at the clutch. They called it. Oh you see it? Yeah, right there. So those two sensors, because of the position, they're measuring higher than the other four. He put them in. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> no. So what happens so is can you can you offset that somehow? No, or? because like it, it's not an offset, okay. right? It may be different as it goes up and down boost wise or RPM wise. So it's not like a simple offset. So what I'm gonna tell you is it's not a problem, real problem. You don't need to address this right away, but this is good knowledge. So we saw the trend one and two being on the hot side, uh -huh. and we we decide like let's put some fuel, see if they cool off, right? But then let's put plugs. Let's look at the plugs. I didn't even look at the number. It doesn't matter if it cool off or not. The plugs cold. So these two plugs are two of the coldest, and they have more fuel. So we're gonna pull it out, right? And then now we're gonna know one and six will always be hotter on your rim, and that's fine, right? And then you compare back to back in between runs. Okay not emitting cylinders, right? Okay. So ideally, it's, it's not that simple to do because the two corners leave making a turn, right? But ideally, it would be place the sensors on similar position. Problem is you have four pipes that go straight out. Yes. Right. You have the sensor on a straight section. Right. And the two on the corners, they're straight on a turn, sensors on the turn, right? Oh, awesome. So there's more heat on a turn than on a straight. Oh, right. That's why they hold yeah, the number. Right. Right. Well, it, 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 but there's no fix. You, yeah. There's no straight area. Yeah. Right. So on these specifics, you just need to know one and six will always be on the hotter side. But you kind of need to learn, oh, this is my number. Like, I don't know, 1,200. And if they go up, something needs to be done. But they will be higher than two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay. And they've always done that. And we. We understood the risk of that because of the way the mm -hmm. air... No, it's uh, fine. It's fine. It's just... You know, it's simple fluid yeah. dynamics, yeah, right? Yeah, you just need to know. You just yeah. need to know. If you know, you're good to go. I like it. Okay. Makes sense now. Starting to be stupid again? Yes, yeah, so something's not right there. Yeah. That behavior is something like that. Before, right? Did you guys ever change the sensor position? Right? No, I mean, no. no. It's, al it's yeah. always been one to one. Yeah, so that's why I don't want to see. If you guys have a lock to yeah. see, yeah. you see they had the sensor in the same position before and it had smooth. Yeah, and it would go 40 pounds of boost and stuff like that. No crazy work, okay. but when you guys. Okay. okay. A ceiling. Yeah, something like that, you know, because he had 30. The line had 30. Okay. It's just like it wasn't perfect. It was like 32, 27, but it was around 30, right? He shouldn't have done only 15. Yeah, because on that rate, we're going to need 80 pounds to go to do 30 or something. <laughs> Or something like that. So yeah, that I, I, I would guess whatever you have right now, right? I don't know is the 75, number. Seventy-five, I believe. Take five hundred out. Do seven thousand, right? Close to sixty-eight and see, right? Take five hundred out. 
and then it's gonna go through the shift so much better, right? And then we ramp more boost, because that was what? 23 pounds. 23, 24, barely 25. And that's 30 on the gate. 30 on the gate, okay. So, and what do you guys did to go up on the boost? Because uh, the same boost on the gate? It has one waste gate now. Oh, you guys block one gate. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's there, but the, the manifold reference is not hooked to it. Oh, so, so you can... just CO2 okay. on them. Okay, so the gates were gating yeah. too much. Well, no, this, I other. messed with the PID for the CO2 control, and it fixed their, their old log. It still had some weird okay. stuff. It's the small dome area waste gate. Okay. So every time you su like supply uh -huh. CO2 uh -huh. to it, it like... It's just like a jump. Reactive. Yeah. Right? yeah. So it's better, but it's not perfect. We'll have to massage it some more. Let's see how the plug looks like this one. Okay. Yeah, and then... I like it. Make that 2.5.